Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm a professional body piercer. I talk about all things piercing related, whether it is piercing education, piercing reaction videos, piercingness just in general. If it is something about a piercing, I probably have or will speak about it. Today I want to focus on a subject that is very, very close to my heart. Some would say extremely close to my heart, literally and figuratively, and that is nipple piercings and why you shouldn't be scared of getting them and why you should just go out and get them right now. Well, actually not right this second, maybe just wait until the end of the video. Let's get through what I'm gonna talk about and then we can look at going and getting them, okay? So I've come together with a bunch of reasons why you shouldn't be scared of getting your nipples pierced. I know it is a very common thing that people put off or they never go and do, even though it's something that has been on their mind, it's something that they dream of doing, something that they've always been interested in, something that they believe will make them feel more confident. And I am here to tell you, they will make you feel more confident and you should do it. I thoroughly, thoroughly encourage everyone to go and do it. As long as it is being done properly, professionally, in a sanitary manner, and as long as your anatomy complies with it as well. So let's just get into the reasons why you shouldn't be scared. So to begin with, we've seen so many of them. I can't even begin to explain how many because it's just been so many. It is honestly up there with one of the most common piercings, like up there with nose piercings and helix piercings and navel piercings. Nipple piercings are right on up there. Like they are so popular. So many people have them and so many people are terrified to get them. So I get it. I completely understand. I understand all the reasons why it is scary to get them because I was once there and I once felt that exact same feeling before I was a piercer as well. So I want to help you feel more confident about going and getting them done and not being afraid and just going and living your life, you know? Go and do what you want. Get the things on your body that you want on your body. It is your body, adorn it how you please. So because they are so popular, we see them all the damn time. Honestly, a breast, an areola, a nipple to me, I couldn't care less. It's honestly never ever going to be exciting to look at ever again. So I mean, sucks for anyone who's that crazily obsessed with breasts and becomes a piercer. You won't be after you've seen this many of them. I could go with not seeing another one for the rest of my life, but alas, I have two of them, so I have to see them all the time. You see them so often that it is just your workspace, essentially. It is your canvas, I suppose. This is the canvas that I will be working on today and I will be shoving a needle through that nip nip of yours. And that is kind of how I see it. Honestly, no one is interested in checking you out. No one is into like, being turned on by you or anything like that. Like no one is doing that. And if they are, they should probably be in jail because that is gross and like not okay to be doing when that's your job and also really weird. So don't do that. I probably shouldn't be saying this in this video because I don't want you to be scared of that happening. Honestly, it would be so rare for that sort of thing to happen. Most of the time, those things are picked up very quickly. And also those people don't actually ever make it through to work in a um, reputable workplace. It's best to always go to someone who you have been recommended from someone else. Maybe someone you know has gone to this person and they made them feel really comfortable and safe or they have really good feedback online, on their social media, on their profile, whatever it is. Really look into that sort of thing as well because that will, it will show definitely, you'll be able to see who the good people are and who the dodgy people are it becomes very evident very quickly. Piercers out there are not interested. They're there to do their job. Their job becomes pretty mundane, to be honest. So every piercing is just another piece of work to do. It's nothing really that crazy or intriguing to them. Like a new body is just a new body. It is literally just a canvas to work on and that is all. No one's into it. I just, I can't iterate enough how weird it is for someone to be into that. Like, what are you doing? Yuck, 
don't do this line of work. I'm just here to assure you that professionals will take the job very seriously. They're here to do the work. That is all they're there to do. When you do have a really good experience, you'll find that you're made to feel so comfortable and you will realize how a professional will carry themselves. So going on from that, not only have we seen so many and we're numb to it, we don't care. We also don't care what yours look like. Like why are yours so special? Just think about it for a second. Why are yours so special? Why do you think that we would just be like yearning and craving your nipples over anyone else that has come in? I'm sorry, but like they all just blend together. They might as well be the exact same thing to me. Like I said, we're numb. It's, there's nothing exciting about it. Yours aren't any more special than the next person who comes in. We aren't looking at them going, damn, I love that pair of breasts. But a more positive twist on that is that as a piercer, you realize that like everyone is so different and that's just how we are. We're all so different. There is no two pairs of nipples or breasts exactly alike. Everyone's just so different. So there isn't really this perfect standard. We aren't interested in you. We aren't interested in courting you. We aren't interested in taking you home, in getting your phone number, in getting your social media. We aren't interested in taking you on a date or having sex with you. None of these things are coming to mind when we're doing a piercing. So to have them out is literally, again, it's nothing to us. We aren't interested. Personally, I kind of hate the stigma around like being topless or being naked or anything like that that it always has to be sexualized. Honestly, that's the reason people feel this way is because I get it. There are a lot of people out there who sexualize naked bodies, but they really aren't sexual. Like unless you are in an intimate moment with someone, then they're a sexual object. But outside of that, they really shouldn't be. So honestly, just make sure you go to someone who makes you feel comfortable and makes you feel like your body is just a body. That's what you want. You don't want someone checking you out and like looking you up and down and like sussing you out. Like it's not sexual and it would be disgusting if it were to be sexual, like you're working. No one should be sexualizing anything where we have to take our clothes off. I hate it. I hate that people are made to feel like their body has to be sexualized always and that everyone who sees it will sexualize it. I get it. It's gross, it's yuck. This is why I think it's really important to do your research and find out a bit about the person and their work, ethics, morals, etc. To see that they align with yours, have a conversation with them, have a consultation with the piercer beforehand and like you can suss them out, see what you think, see the vibe they give to you and if it seems off, don't go to them. If they seem like they're gonna make you super comfortable and you can tell they're just there to do their job and treat you as a canvas, that's your go-to, that's what you want. I found personally after this process of getting my nipples pierced and also for clients who have had it done as well, a lot of them find that it makes them set up to feel more comfortable for other services. Getting your Brazilian done at laser or something like that, getting a pap smear, getting a skin check, whatever it may be. I don't know what it is, but something switches and you have this like comfortability where it's sort of like, okay, I accomplished that. I did that. That was scary. Someone saw that part of me and they didn't make me feel uncomfortable. They didn't judge me. They didn't laugh. They didn't this, that, whatever it is. They just got the job done and that was it. That's exactly how it should be. And I found after I was able to do that, I could do so many more like services without feeling like terrified. And I've heard from other clients as well that they feel the same where it's sort of like, I go and get a pap smear now and it's fine. Or I can now get like a genital piercing and I feel fine about it. And honestly, one of the best reasons to not feel scared about it is because you will feel so confident afterwards. Like your confidence will just like skyrocket. I genuinely have never met a person who I've pierced or I know has pierced nipples who has been like, I hate them. They've made me feel so shitty about myself. Every single person is like, I'm ready to show the world. I want to get my tits out. I just want to show everyone. They look so good. I feel so confident. That is the most common review that most people will give a nipple piercing. Like everyone's super excited, happy and into it. I would also like to briefly touch on pain. This is the one thing that could scare some people off. Like the other stuff might not even matter at all. Now the pain is quite high for most people. Some people, it can be literally nothing. Other people, it's like 
very high. Honestly, you are either one or the other. I rarely have people like in the middle. It's normally pretty bad or like not bad at all. Now, the best thing you can think about around this part of the procedure is that it's over super quickly. Like the piercing is done within seconds and that's all you'll feel the pain for. That small amount of pain for a whole lot of confidence and like feeling yourself is honestly worth it. Going on from these points, I would also like to add in the sort of procedure that is pretty common, the way in which you should be getting treated and the way in which the piercer should be carrying themselves. I think this is really important because it's good for people to understand and see what is normal and what isn't normal. So a standard practice is you generally have a consultation with the piercer prior to getting the piercing. In this consultation, they will check your ID because that is a very, very important step in getting a nipple piercing because no one should be looking at any minors nipples ever. That is why that is super, super, super important step. So yeah, we'll be checking your ID before anything, before we see anything. And if you can't provide that ID, we won't do the piercing. It is not worth risking or even like, I don't want to see a child's, no, no, disgusting. I don't even want to say it, not happening for me. I would never do it without seeing ID. In that consultation, your piercer does need to see your nipples to see if you have the right anatomy for it, to see the size barbell we will need to use, and also to see if you have inverted nipples too. Your consultation may be done the same day, it may be done just before the piercing, or it may be done prior, a week or two before. On the day you'll come in, and it is very common for people to not want to take their top off. I get it, it's terrifying. The person is now in the piercing clinic, they're ready, to get the piercing, the last thing they're probably thinking of is the fact that they need to take their shirt off, but you do need to do that. Otherwise, there's just, we can't do it with a shirt or a bra on. So please don't feel uncomfortable if your piercer asks you to take your shirt and your bra off. It is only because we do need access to the area. Some people just don't realize that they have to take it off for us to do that, which honestly seems like common sense to take it off to access the area, but some people don't know. The piercer would generally say something like, could you please remove your top and bra so I can access the area to clean it and measure you up. And that is when they will start cleaning and marking up the piercing. And basically from there, they will get you to lay down, they will clamp the piercing and they will do the piercing. They then need to put the jewelry in, tighten the balls, and generally clean the area with a saline afterwards as well. One extra part I would like to add here is if you have inverted nipples, sometimes it can take a little more to get them to come out because the thing is we can't pierce your nipples if they are still inverted in there. They need to come out. Generally the cleaning will bring them out, but sometimes someone may also put a fan on them to get them like cold to bring them out. No one should ever be like blowing on them or doing any weird shit like that though. Just a warning that when you have inverted nipples, they sometimes take a little more to bring them to the surface. We're only there to look at the area while we need to, and then we'll send you on your way. We don't want to sit there chatting and like talking about inappropriate things or like making comments on your body. Nothing like that should ever happen. And a professional will never do that. So I did try and focus this video on like the reasons why you shouldn't be scared, but I know I brought a lot into it that might terrify some people. I think it's just good to understand the right from the wrong and understand the people who are doing it in a professional manner and the people who are being unprofessional and creepy. Honestly, just do your research, find someone you trust and feel comfortable with and you will have a great experience, I promise. I think it's your sign to go and get nipple piercings now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back very soon. Bye.